Hello? It's me. Good almost afternoon. If you share a time zone with me, we got two minutes of morning left. I'm gonna drink some coffee still. I wanted to nap so bad, y'all. I just wanted to be asleep. It was not time for napping. So I figured let's play some just really laid back skyblock. Just some really snoozy, grindy, vibey skyblock. So I had a really good time playing it last night. This is a lovely song. Uh, and we'll continue with what I was doing yesterday during stream, which was sort of bopping around in the in the pretzel app and finding music that we can add to my liked songs playlist and music that we think would sound good as like a Minecraft biome to put in that playlist and, and less urgently songs that could go in a holiday playlist. So by the time it hits next holiday season, We'll have a bunch of songs that aren't necessarily typically holiday, but are like holiday adjacent because boy howdy, when I got pretzel just before the holidays or right around Christmas, I was like listening to the holiday playlist and it was, it was not a jam that I was enjoying. So we'll build our own in time for next year. So it won't be too like irritating or boring. So I was listening to my stream back last night and it was just, man, the... The music was too soft in the in the VOD. So even though we were talking about the music in stream and like switching songs around and stuff like that, you really could not hear it in the VOD. So I've turned it up today a little bit, um, especially because it's probably gonna be more vibes today, less commentary, unless I get in a real chatty mood if this caffeine ever decides to kick in. Although I've been drinking it for like two hours now and I'm still waiting. Uh, <laughs> But that way people can hear it and we can make educated decisions or at least appreciate it in the VOD so they know what I'm talking about. And also, man, it sounded like I was just swallowing the mic. It was very, there was like this echoey muffled quality that I hadn't heard in a while. And I don't know if it was, if I was too close or too far away from the mic, but I'm, I'm going to be farther away today. I can actually hear the room in a way I haven't been able to in a while in the VOD last night. Like here, the, oh, hello, you're supposed to be sitting. Let's get you back in here where it's safe. Come on, buddy. You're kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Thank you. Boop. Let's give you a different collar. Color. Um, give him a yellow one. I've got a lot of yellow dye. I don't think he'd look good in yellow, though. What was I talking about before the cat distracted me? Oh, the microphone. I was hearing the echo in the room in a way that I hadn't. I felt like I hadn't in a while. Like, not since I added rugs and curtains and stuff in here. So, we'll see. We'll see. Because I, I don't love that. Oh, let's give him a light blue. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um... So I'm going to have to listen for that on this VOD and see if this mic placement does better. But otherwise, I may have to get some soundproofing or something somewhere. I'm, I'm looking at my wall. Uh, it's like mm, five feet away, but it is just blank plaster. So maybe that would be... I could find some of those acoustic panels that are kind of not boring, like slightly pleasant to look at, and that would be good. So anyway, while we're listening to stuff, uh, what I want to do is expand, uh, expand out this way. Uh, so we'll need to grind some cobblestone and expand some things out because I want to do over here what I did over here last night, which was put up a no. I 
did that. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, my phone is reminding me of things that I've already done. Thank you, phone. Uh, put up one of these. But for the jungle side, because now we've got one on the spruce side. We've got one mushroom side. We've got one... Well, we need to have one on the jungle side, but to do that, I need to get 70 blocks out, which if I remember correctly, would be negative 64. Let's double check really quick. Yeah, this is six. Through there, yep. Okay, and then... Yes, yeah, so we need to go out to negative 64. So we need to do a little bit of grinding. Just a little bit. Right now we're in the ambient station, which is described as, let's see, let's take a look. Ambient, where you at? All tonal, all vibes. Which I can already tell you is not true because there were vocals in one of these last night, which to me does not suggest tonal, but you know what? That's fine. You do you, pretzel. The other thing I was pretty disappointed about, I was checking some of the, uh, like the Google Cloud captions since I finally updated that plugin so they were available. Um, the captioning was available on the stream, like to select to turn on. And man, they were, not good. I found that pretty disappointing. I don't know. I remember them being better. Oh, hey, it's my fancy axe. I remember them being better when I... used them the first time. So I don't know if I have changed the way that I talk. Like if I've gotten worse at enunciation or... If like I realize now that I have an accent that I did I haven't had my whole life, but I lived ten years in a big city <laughs> near places that have a strong accent, and it really pops now. And I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like not that. I mean, I I still would. I thought I would have had that accent also when I started streaming because it that was just last year. But I don't know. Something has changed. So. Like I just saw when I said X, I caught at the bottom, it said, it said X, like the letter. And that's not what I said, man. So I don't know, but we'll keep an eye on it, I guess. This doesn't have mending on it. No, it does. It does. We're fine. Hi, Fox6. How are you? We're just doing vibes today. I've got to expand the island. So we're we're going through some of the stations on Pretzel, which I have a an account with to find music we want to add to like a stream playlist. And just taking it easy. Because I want to be napping, but it's, it's too early for that. <laughs> so we're just taking it easy. I'm also lamenting the fit. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully this will be relaxing. We're just grinding. We just grind. In the rain. Like, this is very vibes. We've got the, the lava sounds. The repetitive pickaxe sounds. Got this ambient background noise. We got rain sound. I'm just sitting here chilling. The goal is to expand the island out that way so that we can build a third one of these heading out to the jungle island. Because now I did this last night to match. We've got the one heading to the spruce island with the spruce. Now we've got the one heading to the mushroom island with the mushroom. Yo, Stardew Valley vibes. Hey, D. Welcome back to last night's stream part two. <laughs> Where we're just doing the same thing.
It was either this or take a nap, and I didn't want to take a nap, because lately when I've taken naps, it's like four hours later, and I feel like I've been hit by a truck, and I've wasted a whole day of my weekend. So. I did! I did the whole thing in birch, and was like, I don't think I like the birch with the other colors, so we, we went to spruce. So now I'm attempting a thing where everything except the accent piece is birch, and we'll see how that looks. My marriage preference? Ooh, it's been so long since I played Stardew Valley. There. I'm trying to think. Isn't there someone with blue hair? I feel like there was a blue hair. I think it was a lady? No. Who am I thinking of? Is it purple hair? Someone had hair. <laughs> they had hair though. <laughs> um, there's also that like kind of emo guy who doesn't want to be friends at all that I'm like, oh yeah, challenge accepted. Okay, maybe it was purple hair then. There's also the, the like, animal tending lady. Is her name Pam or something? It's, yeah, we're talking Stardew Valley. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't think I ever got far enough in the game to marry anybody. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I kind of wish you could marry the hermit in the tent on the hill. <laughs> Specifically, who my marriage preference is, which is like, what does that mean? <laughs> you have no context. Yeah. I know, but he's out there alone in the tent. I don't actually think you can marry him. I just, I just want him to, I mean, he's happy, I guess, but I just want him to have his own house, you know? You just vibe, vibe in the house. It's cool. But I think he just wants friends. He's good. Ooh. My personal marriage preference is no thank you. <laughs> but for Stardew Valley, it's like the purple hair <laughs> or the emo guy. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Pretty good. All right, let's take this out over there. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, no. Quick cat. <laughs> When are you guys going to bring me phantom membrane? Why are you like this? This is all the phantom membrane I've got. <laughs> Otherwise, nah. Nah. You got your wife for internet marriage and you've got your boyfriend for other marriage and I know, but I don't want to hit phantoms. I want the cats to do the work. <laughs> Come on. The cats should do the work. Yeah, platonic marriage. Oh, wait, we need the trash pick. Trash pick is required. Yeah, see, there you go. You got it. Do we think this song sounds like a Minecraft biome? Or structure? It could also be a structure. It's very chill. Yeah, I mean, I could do it. I just don't want to when I, I got cats. That's what the cats are for. I'm supposed to earn their keep. think 
We're back in the ambient playlist. I can update it again if we want. Ooh, nice. Now that, now that, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three four. Okay, that's a good, that's good, all right. <sighs> what is it that I'm thinking of that got updated? Optifine, yeah, thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. I did, that's how I've got all this stuff. And then I've got, wait, wait. I don't know how to get out of here anymore. <laughs> I've reclaimed a bunch of dirt because I finally got moss. Wee, wee, oh. Look, at, and I need to do more of this. I'm being very careful not to convert the dirt into moss. Uh, but look at this. Look at all this dirt. <laughs> My dirt box. The best treasure of all. <laughs> but yeah, I made all this. This is all moss now over here. Okay. I have good food. I kind of am wondering if this doesn't sound like a mushroom island, this song. If it were a biome. Do we think it sounds like a mushroom island? Or a cave, maybe? Like a dripstone cave? I know, right? The That's kind of how, what's fun about Sky Black is what actually becomes the treasure. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Muse. Welcome. I feel like maybe the... That, there's a little bit of a drip sound going on with those little almost staccato like which could kind of sound like the water dripping off of dripstone a little bit maybe but now I'm also committed to like figuring out what a mushroom island sounds like <laughs> Also, we're back in the ambient one, but I could change it to something else if we wanted. I was trying to sound check this morning because I think the music was too soft in the VOD, so I've turned it up today, especially because I, well, I, I didn't think anyone was gonna show up, so I thought I would be mostly quiet. I didn't think I was gonna be talking that much, so I thought the music should be louder, but. I was trying to find a song that got really loud to check against to make sure it wasn't like painfully loud. And I jumped into like electronic dance music because I was like, surely this will this will be loud. And it was such a soft, mellow, like pleasant song. I was like, okay, I clearly don't know what this music is supposed to sound like because this is lovely. So we'll have to see. We'll just have to play around in the other stations and see what gems we find. Oh, I think I missed. I did. Boop, 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 doop, boop, boop, doop. That little run, that doo 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 doo, -doo is sounded like um, one of the Final Fantasies has music. Is it when it's loading? Can you hear it? That one? Do you know which, do you know what music I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I know what that sounds like. I feel like a lot of the ambient music could get could fall under a Minecraft biome sound. Because I could see this being a biome, maybe. 
The key is we need ones that sound like the biomes we have, like, yeah. But also we need ones that aren't like, oh, cave, oh, the end, oh, you know? Like we need forests and flower meadows and yeah, ice spikes and things, you know? Or like river biome. Jungle. Dark oak forest. Shattered peaks, or I guess it's called windswept stuff now, right? It's not shattered anymore. Shattered savannah. Okay, thank you. We're gonna have to go dig some more shortly. We need like, uh, something like 30 more blocks out this direction, so it's gonna take a hot second. Yeah, I was trying to decide if it feels like a bamboo forest at all. That was the one I was kind of thinking. Because there's something to that flute-adjacent one that kind of makes me think of an Eastern influence a little bit. So yeah, let's add it to the... I think we can add it to the playlist. We're at lucky 13 tracks on that right now. Do we want to switch playlists now that there are people actually here and it's not just me sinking into silence while I turn my brain off to very ambient and... Hi, Straw! <laughs> How's it going? What I come in here for? Oh, yeah. I'm just, like, looking around. Uh, we need the zippy pick. Ooh. You think this sounds like a stronghold? Maybe? Let's listen to it, make sure it maintains the vibe. Oh. That did something I didn't expect there, actually. There was like a little electro electric bass run there that I was not anticipating. Yeah, I think it holds up to a stronghold. It's kind of creepy, but there's also this like ambient vibe that is end adjacent. Yeah, let's add it. I should update the name of the the playlist to be biomes and structures because we're not necessary yeah we're not necessarily limiting ourselves to biomes right now but all right let's look at what, what other stations we have let's take a look we're gonna take a look we had the alternative uh you know what let's go back to chill base I feel like there was some interesting stuff happening in that, in the end of the... Occasional vocals. So many of these stations have the word chill in them. Let's count. There's one that's just called chill. There's one that's called chill bass, chill EDM, chill guitars, chill jazz, chill piano, chill pop. I feel like calming cinematics is chill adjacent, so. There's also one called yacht rock, which I have no idea what that means. I 
I assume it's music that me and my wealthy douchebag white wealth wealthy friends would listen to while we're out on our yacht <laughs> in our sparries. while we're drinking and have no jobs. Well, maybe that's just my <laughs> middle class judgment. Eat the rich, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, this is the chill base. We're in the chill base station. I think I like this. I'm gonna at least like this tray. We're also voting for that. Do we like it enough to put it in the big old liked songs playlist for streams? And then does it sound like one we want to put in the Minecraft biomes and structures? Technically, we also have a holiday playlist that I'm curating before the next holiday so that I don't have to listen to what they say is a holiday playlist because, oh boy, it's all just like jingle bell chime noise and I don't like that at all, so... Yeah, I don't think this is Minecraft, but I do enjoy it. Oh yeah, I still have more coffee. Nice. I'm gonna be on my brother's stream tonight, so I have to decide if I also wanna stream it or if like, am I doing two streams today? I think probably not, honestly. I think I'll let him stream it and then I'll just be there. Cause I don't think my view of it last time was very entertaining because all I was doing was following him around. Um, it is, and also having trouble staying connected, so. Let me think of them. It's like outward, outbound, outward. Outward. That's what it's called. Which is like a... It's got like D&D &D vibes, but it's not like the rolling and stuff. It's like action RPG, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and, and then quests and stuff and medieval fantasy. But I tend to, in those types of games, just follow him around. I don't really pay attention to anything except <laughs> I go where he tells me to and do what he tells me to, which isn't really exciting to watch from my point of view. Unless you enjoy the frustrating experience of watching someone just get completely sidetracked. Because he'll be like, okay, we're going in here. I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, ooh, a chest. And then I'm like, ooh, a flower. Ooh, what's this animal? Ooh. And then I'm like, wait, where are you? <laughs> so from his point of view, he's just getting stuff done. And all of a sudden it's like, where's Kappa? I don't know, man. <laughs> I got lost. Thanks for another piece of rabbit, I guess. <sighs> I'm gonna buy a name tag and I'm gonna name this cat Bunny because all it gives me is bunny things. It's one of the reasons I play a rogue a lot if I ever play like tabletop RPGs because um, I just wander around opening chests. <laughs> Wait, I was I was doing things over here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just wiggling in, in the screen because I'm just like bopping along. It's probably incredibly distracting, actually. I'll try to sit still. But I just want to bop along, man. Oh, that's not boppable. Now, we're like... It actually sounds like if I were powering down, like... You know? <laughs> Speaking of, I have a dark mode trigger on here somewhere. I wonder where that is. Is it this? Nope. There it is. Oh. It makes my eyes wild. <laughs> like. Yeah, well, I'm also opening my eyes really wide. And the glow tongue. Blah. Yeah. I got sidetracked. I'm back. So this one should do something too? Oh yeah, my little buddy. Hey little buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. So then I think this should Yeah, do the data. Data beam. Data beam. We're beaming the data. If you haven't seen Poe on Twitter or his stream lately, he has uh, one of these that sit next to his ear. And he made it so he could use his hand tracking to pet it. And it like pops little hearts out at him. It is very cute. So it like reacts to the contact from his hand by moving, which is weird. Not weird, but like bonkers. It's really cool. And then, uh,. Yeah, it like releases little heart particles. It's very cute. I kind of wish mine was maybe a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to see at this quote unquote distance. And then this one should do something. Oh, of course. That's my reset. I forgot. <laughs> Obviously. If I wanted to reset, I would have remembered that, but since I wasn't in that brain space, I was like, what, what does this one do? I tell you what I really want is I really want a light bulb that looks like the one on my sternum that'll pop up above my head when I have a good idea. I want one of those. It's the simple things. Okay, let's do a different playlist. I'm kind of over this. Let's see. Electronic music on the chilled side. And the picture for this is an ice cream sundae. So let's find out what's going on in here. Yeah. If I ever got to the point where I could do merch or whatever, I would use the light. I think it looked cool on a beanie. Just like a light, an embroidered patch of the bub. The light bub, like a black beanie with a white, or not white, yellow light bub. Which I drew myself, so it is actually mine. <laughs> or the two thumbprints. That would be kind of fun. A black beanie with the thumbprints on them off center. That'd be kind of fun. But I think like a, one of those enamel pins of the light bulb would be pretty good merch too. Or an enamel necklace or like, I mean, heck even a black t-shirt with the bub. All of those are very simple. 
Essentially, the bub is my logo. I just hardly use it. Yeah. I want to find someone who'll do a chibi of me. Not like a model, but just art. I think it'd be really cute to use as my profile picture on Twitter. When I first started, before I had character art, uh, my drawing of the light bulb was all my profile pictures. So it predates the, the actual finalized character art. Okay, let's do some more building. I don't like this. Next. Okay, have good food. I recently had a breakfast sandwich. It would be really cute. I would like it so much. Oh, like a turtle beach? Or a coral? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a tropical fish rave with all the tropical fish in the coral reef area. Yeah, okay, I vibe. Yeah, I think a chibi would be really cute. There was somebody who I saw on Twitter open their commissions for chibis and they didn't list tech style art as one of the things they would do. So I reached out to them and they never responded and then they closed comms and then I, they opened them again because they're trying to save for a school trip. And I reached out again and was like, hey, I, you know, I kind of gave you this information before. Is this something you're willing to work on? I'd love to have one. And they didn't respond to me again. So I'm just assuming that they don't do tech theme style art, which is a problem I run into a lot, honestly, when I'm trying to find someone to do art for me for this, there's not a lot of folks out there who are doing, whether it be character art or the Minecraft skin or um, assets like background assets and slide transition slides. You could tell that was a work thing coming through. This is not PowerPoint, um, but like transitions and stingers and like just chatting background, like all that stuff, overlays. There are very few people out there who are doing tech theme stuff. Some of the folks I found that are doing it are amazing. Like Freya has some really amazing free assets on their coffee. Uh, in fact, almost all of my backgrounds are from Freya. They just have really nice stuff. And some of them are animated and some aren't. Like the backgrounds I have that are not animated by them they have this really cool like neon animated neon tracer and just a whole bunch of colors that you can set behind a background and it gives the let me i'll show you uh i think it's on my brb screen yeah see that black or not black that that color is red kappa that red trace around that be right back screen. That's like a separate asset that's animated and you just pop whatever on top and you slow the speed down in it to whatever you want. And it's, it's really nice. Uh, that kind of rain wind sound is in the music. It's not in Minecraft. I thought for a second it started raining. So when you can find someone, it's really nice, but there just aren't that many, which makes it hard to commission art. Uh, 
I think the stinger I have is from Freya as well. Now that I think about it. Freya also streams, so if you're interested in checking them out, you can find them. It's like Freya Amari, I think. All right, getting dark. Quick, quick. I think I want to switch. I think I want to switch play uh, stations again. I almost said playlists. I keep calling them playlists. All right, bunny. Give me the phantom membrane. That is a rabbit. <sighs> okay, let's find a different thing. Let's try chill guitars. Let's see what chill guitars has got going on. Hopefully chill guitars. I wonder how much of this will have vocals and how much will just be guitars. I also wonder if chill guitars are electric guitars, acoustic guitars, or both. I think of chill guitars as acoustic, but... I studied music in college with a lot of acoustic players, so that's probably why. Also, I just like acoustic instruments a lot. I will say, having moved my microphone replacement, I, this is, it's way less in my way right now. So hopefully it sounds at least nice, if not better because I kind of like it here for my holy, holy practical standpoint. Okay. Is this song a Minecraft biome or structure? It's not screaming any particular Minecraft object to me. Oh, it's gonna change though. Maybe it'll change into something. I, I don't dislike it. It's kind of nice. Oh, I hit a button I didn't mean to. Stop that. Why did you do that? I was trying to reset my position in VC face and it like freaked out. All right, relax. Relax frames. All right. No, I think you're right. I add it to the liked playlist, but I, I can't, it's not like shouting any particular Minecraft thing to me. I've started to get a taste for just like zipping through songs and commenting on them. It's gonna make it really hard to just listen to songs later. <laughs> Cause it's very entertaining to me to like, be like, hmm, what does this sound like? Oh, I, I'm using my not trash pick over by the void again. Let's uh, Let's not do that. <laughs> I guess I would also say if there's a song that sounds like a character or a mob. Like if we have a song that's like, wow, that sounds like the warden. <laughs> we should probably also add it to the playlist. You could do, so I saw a, um, I guess you would call it a game, like a decision game. 
I'm trying to think of what it was called on Twitter a couple months ago. And basically it's a dice rolling game where you write down a bunch of stuff that you have on your to-do list. Plus like one fun thing. You could power wash simulator. That would be good vibes. And then you roll the dice and whatever you roll, like the stuff you've put on the list are lined up to numbers. And it's basically like a help me decide what to do game. Oh, then yeah, video game, power wash simulator. Hang, hang here, do power wash simulator. Comment on music. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't think anyone was gonna be here. I thought it was just gonna be me silently placing cobblestone and making choices about music. So, you know, guys are all, all unexpected <laughs> participants. <laughs> I was like, this is a weird time. I don't know that anybody's gonna show up. And, and then everybody, everybody showed up, which I appreciate. I don't know why, I feel like I'm an incredibly boring person, but I do just like talking, so. It's good that someone's here to talk to instead of talking to nobody, because then I'd feel more bonkers than I do in normal everyday life. Actually, a lot of folks do. I can actually see it in, in Twitch, the analytics of, of, uh, how many of the people who are following me also have notifications on? And then I can see how many people with notifications on, like clicked the notification to come to stream. It, it, it actually tells me quite a bit of information. I don't always look, but it tells me things. Did you see how I lazied out on that tweet instead of having to go track down my Twitch channel link every time? I pinned a tweet with my Twitch channel link in it and then I just quote retweeted it every time I start streaming. I was like, I hate this. I hate having to find this and paste every time. So I just, like I said, gotta work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Cause I was just like, boo, <laughs> this is too much work. I made like a cat, not even a, I wasn't necessarily casual, but I made a comment on a tweet. I think it was yesterday. It was just kind of really short and you know, sort of throw away. It was one of those tweets where I'm like, wow, this is annoying. So I made sort of like a sarcastic joke underneath it. And like over a hundred people have liked it. And I'm like, man, I wish this many people would see when I started streaming. <laughs> Although I think if I had that many people while I was streaming, it would unnerve me a little bit. Not that I worry about talking in front of people. Like that's never been an issue for me. I've done a lot of theater. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of used to that. Whoa. Well, this is new, but I don't feel like I'm good enough at video games or streaming to have that many people suddenly show up. That would be stressful. <laughs> With my luck, my frames would tank or something. Why, is that a thing you can do? <laughs> Does this sound like one of the um, zombified villages to anybody or is it just me? Problem is when you're at work, I'm at work. Mm -hmm. 
after yesterday, I really should not be streaming while I'm supposed to be working. I uh, can no longer justify that. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't do anything with that last song. I felt like I should have because I kind of liked it. Oh, look at the title for the song. The Field from Spirited Away. Interesting. I'm trying to think of which field they mean. And I wonder if they mean... I mean, I'm assuming they're talking about the movie, I guess. Is there a Spirited Away book? Is it based on a book? This is nice. Is it a Minecraft biome? Ooh, I think that's exactly where that we're, we need to start, actually. Okay, that's awesome. So we just need a few more rows here. Is this a structure or a biome? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I should... Oh, you're not needed, but I should add it over here. Boop. 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 No spawns! Dash ducks and our chicken life. And I don't know what either of those things are, but... I'm gonna have to look those up at some point. You said that comment like 80,000 years ago and I just read it again and realized I skimmed over those two things because they were really long and my brain just went, insert video game. <laughs> I went back and was like, wait, the what? <laughs> Uh-oh. and ducks chickens and ducks I didn't do anything with that one either wait I'm gonna at least like it do we get it I think we got it yeah this kind of sounds like a mesa you think If it stays in this same type of vibe. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Get it in there. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. to college with someone who played guitar like this and unlike the meme he really was the guy you wanted to bring a guitar to parties like, not like those one guys who bring it and just are like showing no like you really did want him to bring a guitar to the parties <laughs> Honestly, it's been a while since I've heard his song. I guess I listen to too much chill music. This isn't super chill, I wouldn't say. It's pleasant, but like, I guess it's been too long since I've listened to music that make me happy enough to feel hype, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 
I, I definitely want that in my... That was a winner. That was a big winner. I liked that a lot. All right. This composer seems to think that this song means islands. Does it sound enough like islands? Well, I guess, does it sound like Minecraft Islands? <laughs> is the question. I can see this as like a turtle beach. But I don't know if it's a Minecraft turtle beach. It's just generally a beach, you know what I mean? Look how close we're getting. That's nice. This actually makes me think of some of the music in like Mario Kart where you're driving on the beach or like a Mario beach game, like Mario Sunshine or something. I don't think it's Minecraft beach. It's probably good that my mouth doesn't have lips or track super well because I was probably just making the stupid face while <laughs> it's like the really ridiculous face while I was vibing to this just now. It's for the best that you could not tell. <laughs> Alright, we just need a little bit more cobblestone. Just a little more. We probably should mend that also. Okay. Let's continue. Not that that's not a good song, but we got we got more songs to find. Steel guitar and string. Ooh, this could be good. Let's hear it. I'm excited to see where this goes. Mm. Just hoping for more finger picking. third of the way in. I don't think this is what I thought it was going to be. Okay, next. I wanted a lot of finger picking on the steel guitar, but that is not what happened. This is pleasant. I ordered dinner last night to celebrate my race, and um, I got dessert with it, and it's bread pudding with a whiskey caramel sauce, and I was too full to eat it last night, so I'm really excited to eat it sometime today. <laughs> I just started thinking about food, obviously. I'm not even hungry. I don't know why it popped into my head. Not the note I expected them to hit at the top of that. Did everybody hear that? It sounded like, is that just my brain? I didn't feel like it was like, I, can't, I don't know if it was flat or sharp, but it was off. Okay, 
That's nice. Next. Oh. It's kind of fun. It's probably enough. I just realized today while I was sound checking that the progress bar on these songs in this uh, app are actually the waveform of the song, which is really handy when I'm doing something like this because I can see, like, based on the waveform, if the song's going to continue in the same way that it has been or if it's going to change in any appreciable way. Uh, or like if there's a part coming up where it's gonna like swell or get really quiet or anything like that. So it's actually really handy. I, I hadn't really been paying attention to that particular a aspect of the player before that. So that's pretty neat. There's a spot in the middle of this song where it's gonna change a little bit in some way. And then it looks like it's gonna go back to the same. And then there's like one big whomp at the end and then it like trails off. I'm watching the waveform now to see. The one thing that's hard to figure out is how fast it's going through the the pattern. Like this is going faster than I expected. So I'm trying to follow. Cause that, that changes, sorry, I'm around my nose. It makes my head wobble on screen. Um, yeah, see, it changes how much of a how it, it changes my perception of how much of a change to the waveform some of these patterns are. Like, I thought it was a big change, but I don't think it actually is going to be the one in the middle. Yep, okay. Yep. Also, I like this. I should, I should remember to walk while I'm marking it. Okay, thanks, Straw. This is a good stream for lurking. We're just we're just doing the vibes. Honestly, most of my streams are good for lurking. It's not like I'm ever doing anything super important. Okay, this is the part where it really looks different on the waveform. Right here. What? Well, yep. <laughs> That explains why that's a new sound. And then it goes back to a pattern that I've kind of seen before, but I bet it's just the volume. Yeah. All right, and it's gonna transition based on this waveform. Let's see if that's true. Yup. <laughs> That's very entertaining. It's not good stream content because you can't see the waveform, but that's kind of fascinating. I wish I could do some type of little tiny monitor on the waveform so you guys could see it because it's kind of fun. I'm sure there's a way. I just am not that good at streaming. <laughs> yeah, and here's we're getting to the end where it's going to do that thing where it fades out. Soon, ish. I don't think this is a Minecraft biome or structure. I like that this chill guitar art station, and here it goes. It's gonna do one more big thing. Yep, and then fade out. That was actually a very lovely chord. 
Uh, I like that they have both acoustic and electric in this chill guitar station. That's pretty nice. Oh, there are some very rhythmic something or other coming up in this song. Also birds. Okay, birds. Hmm. Is it a Minecraft biome? I mean, the birds make it tempting to try to force it to be a Minecraft biome. <clears throat> but I don't get strong vibes off of it. Oh my gosh, my nose is itching like crazy. <laughs> I rub my nose, it looks like I'm <laughs> head banging or something on the I'm not actually moving my head like that, it's just my hand rubbing my nose <laughs> interferes with the camera, so it makes my head look like it's wiggling. Alright. This is nice, but next song. <laughs> it sounds like futuristic detective noir <laughs> vibe here. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is a Minecraft thing. So let's go to the next because that was a very even waveform. It was not going to do anything different than that. four short. That's so rude. Let's go get four cobblestones. All right, let's try chill piano now and see what we get. I really struggle with piano, like my, like current piano instrumental music because it has a very samey, samey sound. Um, I'll see if I can pick it out in some of this. There's a lot of like busy arpeggiated stuff going on with a very obvious me <laughs> obvious melody line and this isn't like this is I, I'm talking about just in piano instrumental songs with nothing else. This is not what this is doing. But I think I'm good on this song. Let's get a different one. Oh wait, I only needed four. This is a silk touch. Why am I like this? I just need four, please. There we go. But they also don't do a good job of like distinguishing the supporting chord structure from the top line and like they they get very thumpy like they they don't have a lot of dynamic variation or or I don't know how to describe it but it, it tends to grate on me and my brain in a way that most what you would call just generically classical piano music doesn't although some of them do the same thing but there's definitely a sound to them one's barely like that. It's not bad. It's it's pretty pleasant. But there's also some like they hang on to the pedal in some places. Like it just they it's not super clean. Uh in the I, I don't know if a lot of it it's cuz it's like keyboard 
instead of an actual piano. I don't know. But I struggle with like contemporary piano only music uh, generally. Like if you hop onto Spotify or something and you're like piano channel, like some of that stuff is, I, I don't really like it. Poke. Let's repair the pick. Oh, I need to have this out just in case. So this is the mini game while we do this. If a, if a chicken rider comes, we gotta shoot the chicken out from under him so that he dies when he falls and doesn't like float to the bottom where we have to kill him. That's the mini game involved in, in this situation. <laughs> I don't see any chickens yet. I wonder if this is a song that actually has lyrics at some point or if it's just made to sound like one of those songs so that it sounds like a piano arrangement of a vocal piece. I'm not familiar with the title. But it sounds like something that would have words that you would sing with. This is nice, but I want the next song. Oh. I've heard this before. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is one that sounds like a piece like a piece from a movie score, and I can't think which one it reminds me of. With the strings. There's, this is most of the song, though, I think. So let's... Oh! That's nice. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's go. It's gonna do something here. Yep! That's pretty pleasant. Ah, fix. Fix my pick. Thank you kindly. is fixed. Thanks. We'll just stand close enough to hit. Oh, the chicken that I got is still here. Uh, we'll just stand close enough to him that when he throws stuff at me, I can just sort it immediately. <laughs> Shepherds or leather worker? Is there a leather worker or are they just shepherds? Do they trade for leather or do they give you leather? Is that a thing? Look at his little nose. Well, he's doing good. Look at it! <laughs> I like this animation pack so much. Oh, there's vocals here. One of the things we could do at some point too is take this and start uh, from the actual portal, like start expanding it out in 
nicer blocks. All right, pick repaired. Now let's get ready to build the uh, jungle biome uh, gate. <laughs> the gate to the jungle biome. All of those gates are 70 blocks from center. So eventually I expect that they'll be like island out past those, but like the central village town area will be, I guess, 70 blocks around essentially, cause I'll build a wall. Okay, I'm, I'm good on this, thanks. There was not a whole lot of piano in that song actually for a chill piano. It's always nighttime when I come through here. It more rabbit bits. Just sit. Okay, this is a little like what I was talking about, about contemporary piano. There's a lot of that arpeggiated stuff happening, but it's not really a melody and it's all the same volume. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like here's the melody, like you can kind of hear a melody happening here. This is not the most egregious example, but it's it's definitely adjacent to what I'm saying. And it also feels like they tend to wander, like they don't end up anywhere. See how now we're just in like chord, 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 and then sitting on top of it is just like this wandering, like arpeggiated and there's no volume variation anyway. Like it's just, you know? And there's no like, I don't know. Like I said, this isn't the most egregious example. This is actually pretty nice, but it, it, it's doing a little bit of what I meant. I forget what I was gonna do. Oh, I was gonna build the thing. I remember now, I'm good at this. I got sidetracked by music, okay. But like I said, and like if you could see the waveform here, it's very, very samey, 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 samey. Like it's not, there's no journey. It just like spins around and around the same point. Again, that's my personal preference. If you can write stuff like that, you're amazing and I'm super proud of you, but it's it's not my favorite. Uh, let's see. We'll need these and we'll need these. We're gonna need a lot more of those, in fact. Okay, excellent. All right, and we're gonna attempt to maintain spruce as the rest of the wood. I don't know what that's gonna look like. It might look truly terrible. We'll find out. Okay. This is weird. I don't think I like it. <sighs> buttons, we also need buttons. I don't have any spruce buttons because buttons are so freaking expensive. Twelve buttons out of twelve planks is highway robbery! Two, three, four, five, then there's two blanks and I think it's like three? But we'll just take that whole thing, honestly. All right. Oh, we need regular stone. Oh, we're 
gonna need lanterns. Alright, I'm not really into this either. This is a keyboard, not a piano, but we'll allow it. In fact, probably a lot of these are keyboards and not pianos, but that's fine. All right, we're looking for negative 64. Oh, literally right here, okay. Boop. We got one, one, there we go. Oh, wait, this needs to be this actually first. I thought I grabbed my axe, I did not. I'm not in love with that either. Man, for how much I enjoy piano, I think I must be just really picky about piano. It's probably what it actually is. But you would think I would find some, okay, this is actually gonna pop off in a second and do something. Okay, pop off might not have been the right word. It just, the waveform got a lot bigger and it, that really did not justify the size of that waveform. Is this a Minecraft biome, actually? I could see this as being like a deep dark, <clears throat> maybe. Like, it certainly sounds like that, but I don't know if I like it enough to put it in something where I would hear it, hear it a lot. You know what I mean? I, I don't think I like it. Okay. This is 100% an example of what I'm talking about, about contemporary piano pieces. A lot of arpeggiation, not a ton of varied melody, not a super clear like volume indicator of a journey. It's just kind of spinning around the same theme and it doesn't go anywhere. See what I mean? Like. This has a little more movement than most, but it is exactly what I'm talking about. The places where it does anything different are so minor and so brief that like you don't really feel like you've gone anywhere. Like that was the that was it. That was the whole Like there's just not a fleshed out musical journey there. <laughs> making me want to listen to like actual classical piano pieces but I don't know how DMCA works on those I'm assuming the performance by the artist is like copyrighted even if the song is public domain I would assume that's how that would work I got into the groove with my stone blocks and forgot I didn't bring them any with me. More stone blocks. Is this a Minecraft biome or structure or mob? Mm, eh, I don't 
think so. See if this goes anywhere. It's that same arpeggiated support with some like minor melody on top. Not minor as in musically minor, but just minor as in simple and, and not very robust. Let's see, we're waiting on you to go somewhere. You're kind of doing a thing. Ooh. Okay. That was the chord. That was the shift I was. That's good. one of those Ooh. 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 all right I that was one power by memory I'm proud of myself okay so then this like that if I could can I get that with a step down involved I'm not sure I can wait I think I can do this that oh nope that went right okay great not how I built the one over there, but I'm trying to do it from memory in a way that I don't have to like hop down. Um, so this needs that. Uh, -da -da -da. Can I grab that? Oh, I can. Amazing. So then this would go like this. With like this. Yo. Let's grab that guy. Uh, and then this will go like this. up so that uh, we don't get spawns. Boop. And then it's gonna be like 
this. Nice. Whoops. I'm gonna be so proud of myself if I get this. Did I get that? Uh, I did. I think I did. Amazing. Okay, and then like this, and then like this, and then I think this goes by the bottom one. Oh, I, are those uneven? It's hard to tell. No, they're not. Okay, great. And then, boop. 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 Oh, did I just do the perfect number of buttons? I'm amazing! All right, and then this will be... on the sides this this okay then here we're gonna have uh oh did I I didn't bring I need slabs uh okay so this should be like that and then there's be these and then it's gonna be like a this I don't think I have enough of these. That's one thing. I never count trapdoors correctly. You need, hello. You need so many trapdoors. Okay, so I need trapdoors and I need, oh. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and I need, Bruce slabs. Excuse me, would you like a torch in these trying times? Thank you. And slab, slab, slab. We got slabs? Okay, great. Okay, great. All right, let's do a quick strip of this strip. Strip. There we go. Uh, is there one more? I think there is one more up there that I, let's, ah. there we go. Nice. We do a hoo doo doo hoo doo And then we do a huh, 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 huh. That's exactly the sound that should be made when you're stripping a log. Huh, huh. All right, let's get those slabs. That's pretty good. I did that all from memory. I'm I'm pretty pleased with myself. I just need more trapdoors and more slabs. Or any slabs at all. Alright, I'm tired of this channel. They're not doing what I want them to do with the piano. I don't want chill pop. Uh, they do have a classical station, so that could be interesting. Uh, I'm a little curious about the, what this drum and bass, jungle, and liquid. So let's just see what happens. It could be wild. Kind of fun. It's building to something. Why is it more rabid bits? See the light? 
I should bring stuff to texture this. Since we're almost done anyway. Oh, I see. Now we go. I'm kind of over this. Next. So that's what, four corners, two each, so 16 trap doors plus these. So 20 trap doors for each, no, these four and then four more. So 24 trap doors for each gate. I'm going to absolutely forget that. So hooray. All right, but I did that from memory. So that's pretty good. bit of this. That is the wrong object. Thank you. There we go. That just like flew over behind my head. Where'd that go? There we go. over here what was that okay Do this sneaky guy in here all right no I don't think this one's gonna work. Let's see. What is historic rock classic? Let's try that. Mm. We're in the skip around arc now. Them. There we go. Better. I don't hate this. I I hit the wrong button there. That's fine.
right, let's go see where it is on the other side of this. Okay. So I'm gonna stick it here. So it doesn't look like a weird mirror image of the other side. Right, all right, all right. Actually, that looks okay. I know the spruce and the jungle aren't like super great together, but what I'm trying to do is have them be identical gates completely, except for this interior stripped section, which shows the material that you get from the island beyond. So in this case, it's jungle. In the case over there, it's actually spruce, so the whole gate is spruce. And then in the case of this one over here to the left, that's that's the iron farm. Uh, over here to the left, it's the mushroom island, if that makes sense. So as we get them up, it, it may not work out that way. Like maybe something will just be too ugly to bear. <laughs> but for right now, that's kind of the plan. So now we've got three of those, which is also exciting because it's given us sort of a size to the island that we had not previously. Like, see how I can now extend to between these two? And like, there's an, uh, like this could get extend, like now, now we're in it, right? We can start seeing where things need to extend to be more even on all sides. In fact, we could really go for it and get this one up as well. Even though we haven't been to that island, I do have mangrove from a wandering trader. So let's see. I think this is eight. Remind me again. Yeah. Eight. So this goes negative. So 70 out this way from eight would be negative 62. This block, I'm pretty sure. So that block is Negative 46. We need 62, so we're actually not that far away. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just Then we'll have the four cardinal directions and that'll be great. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of this channel. What next, what next? Let's try this guy. Wait, there's this one called Epic that says intense cinematic orchestral and pirate shanties. Let's see if we can get a pirate shanty. I want a pirate shanty. Okay, so let's take the trash axe and put it back in here. And we'll these guys back. Man, I got a lot of these. Some more cobblestone. While we do that, we'll just listen to these music pieces. Alright, so according to the waveform, this is as like big as this P 
piece gets, but there's a part coming up where it gets a lot smaller. And it's coming right up now. And it's kind of nice. There's not a whole lot of a journey. It's about to transition out of this and start getting bigger again. Here it comes. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought it was going to do. Well, it wasn't a pirate shanty, so I'm disappointed. I felt like it might be nighttime. All right, let's give this one a chance to give us a phantom membrane. Or a feather. Sure. Why not? This is a very stable waveform. Yeah, it does something here and then it kind of sits at this for a while. But I kind of like it. I'll give it a thumbs up and hope that it doesn't disappoint me with the rest of the song. Doing some different things. I like that. Change my... The way I'm sitting. There we go. That's better. My sit bones are tired because I drove so much in the last couple days that work trip. In fact, hold on. What if we stand up? Oh. Nice. Okay. That, that absolutely made me too tall though. One second. There we go. We'll see if that does weird things for my face capture because the angle of the camera changed a little bit, but. Oh, standing is nice. Actually, I think I'm probably a little taller. There we go. That's better. Okay, it's doing a thing I did not expect. And I don't know if I like it, actually. How you have all the rest of this, like this is the last quarter of the song and all of a sudden you got vocals? I, I feel like this was a bait and switch. Although I feel like I can't, I can't be too hard on them because I always want them to do something different and not do all the same, same, same the whole song. So they're doing that. <laughs> Pointed dripstone. Oh my god. Pointed dripstone. Everybody hold your breath for pointed dripstone. Pointed dripstone. Pointed dripstone. <sighs> Not pointed dripstone. In fact, this is all stuff I already have, except maybe these. All right. Wow. 
I thought the last one was disappointing. Well, not the actual last one. I had Moss, but the one before that. Man, that... The first two Wandering Traders I got on this world had pointed Dripstone. And I didn't have any emeralds to do anything about it. And now I desperately need it so that we can get lava, like an actual lava farm, renewable lava. And it just doesn't happen. Wait, this sounds pirate shanty adjacent. I, I don't need any. We got a pirate shanty. Okay, that's actually enough of those. If I can get a heart of the sea, we can make a thing. Uh, but yeah, see, I already have blue eyes. I mean, granted, I don't have like a source for blue eyes, but. I, like I had, the, I had those already. But look, I've got, I got those. I got those. I got those. Like I don't I don't need those. I'll I'll take these leads though. Thank you. If someone brings me pointed dripstone, I will spare their llamas. I will not murder the llamas of the pointed dripstone provider. Otherwise, death to all the llamas. I already got llamas. They're two different colors. Like, we good. So tell your friends. Where'd you go? Sir, I want to talk to you. This is very important. Sir. Pointed dripstone. Tell the next dude I want. Look at me. Excuse me. Excuse Sir? Sir? No. If you make me walk off the edge, tell the next dude. Pointed dripstone. You better do it. You better do it. That actually worked when I ordered moss last time. The next dude brought moss. So we'll find out. It's definitely how Minecraft works, right? Is the zippy? Yeah. Oh, I should put these. Put those back. I need to do some trading. Pointed drips down. If you have dripstone and you put water above it. Will it form pointed dripstone or do you have to already have pointed dripstone? You know what? Let's Google this. I'm probably gonna, let me turn off my preview because I'm going to tank, absolutely tank my frames because I don't know what's wrong with my computer. All right, let's see here. Can dripstone and water make Pointed dripstone Minecraft. Oh, I should probably add Java. And then my Google's gonna run forever because I don't understand this browser. It I don't know why it runs so long for me. If I did this in my other browser, it'd be instant. You know what? Screw you. Let's pop up the other browser. Come here, other browser. I'm using it. Okay. Placing a source of a source block of water above a drift zone block with a stalactite hanging from it allows it to grow longer and to form stalactites on the ground below. Hmm. Can you turn dripstone blocks into pointed dripstone? Dripstone comes in two forms. Dripstone, the blocks serve as the base for the pointed and they can they can be easily converted? How? 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 Explain to me. I 
Explain. As well as spikes that hang down from the roof or point up, just dripstone blocks point drip. They can the block can serve as the base for the pointed variant to extend. They can be easily converted. Four pointed dripstone in a crafting grid will make a dripstone block. And if a dripstone block has a water source block above it, it will very slowly grow pointed dripstone beneath. <gasps> oh, we gotta try this. This is important. Red alert, red alert, red alert. This is good music for a red alert. Holy cow. This is very epic. Thank you. Thank you for this epic, epic thing. All right, let's find out. Forget you guys. You're taking too long. Uh. You. Oh wait, I, I went too far. Oh, I'm one short, I hate that for me. Okay. I feel like maybe this needs to be longer. Maybe not. If we can just get one. My brain. Okay. 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 Now we go get water. building blocks I wonder what very slowly means and also I read that off of the Minecraft blog so like it it is legit this should be an infinite water source now actually all right Fingers crossed, everybody. I would still like pointed dripstone, thank you. But, just in case, we have an experiment happening. It would be so good. That would be amazing. Okay. This epic station's pretty fun, actually. It makes me feel like the, the cobblestone grind is very important. Very important. The thing about standing up is, and you can kind of see it in my model, I don't stand still. <laughs> so I'm like wiggling back and forth. Which is probably healthier, but is also like nauseating to watch on the screen, I'm sure. It's like, why, why are they? Why are they moving? Sorry. I just. This 
is what we were talking about yesterday where I was like, I know I got tested seven years ago for ADHD and they said nah, but guys, I just got a text to my phone and it completely obliterated the fact that I was streaming from my brain. Absolutely gone. I was about to like follow up and, and open something I like, oh, hey Muse. <laughs> Were you here for the blog post reading off of the minecraft.net about dripstone? Because this is very important. Look, so, oh, it's night. Hey, so it suddenly occurred to me, can you make pointed dripstone from regular dripstone? And so I looked it up and the wiki says that if you put water sources above it, it should very slowly do. I've been waiting for a wandering trader. So we're going to try this. Because this dude. Well, because I thought you already had to have the dripstone for them to grow more. But it potentially, it sounds like you can just do this and they will grow. Look at how disappointing this dude was. Like, I already had every single one of these things. That was so rude. After the moss on the last one, like that was a total letdown. It was real sad. We're listening to the epic playlist now. Let's see if anything fun happens. We've already had one pirate shanty, which was exciting. Okay, so let's take these. We've been going a couple hours. We're doing good. No, see, that's not what it said, though. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hmm. So there's the wiki. Okay, so from Minecraft.net. Block of the week, Dripstone. I mean, it was published June 10th, 2021, but this is actually Minecraft.net. Dripstone comes in two forms, blocks and pointed. The blocks serve as the base for the pointed vari variant to extend from, and they can be easily converted. Four pointed dripstone in a crafting grid will make a dripstone block. And if a dripstone block has a water source block above it, it will very slowly grow pointed dripstone beneath. It doesn't say anything about having to have pointed dripstone first. Again, this is June 2021 and it's Minecraft.net. So unless that's changed, that reads like it should grow. So we'll find out. I mean, it's a little bit more proactive at least than just waiting for a trader. But it also says very slowly, and I have no concept of what very slowly is. Also, look, we made another one of these for the jungle area. Oh, that's not bad. Even if it's double that, that's not bad. Oh, wait, game days are 24 hours, like, in-game days are like days I spend in-game that are actually real-world days. <laughs> okay, let's hope that's the case. Okay. Alright, excuse me folks, I'm just... I'm just doing this so that I can remember where the line is. Excuse me. Thank you. I already felt like I moved. Okay, so that's gonna be the middle. And we'll have one, one, two, three. And they'll wanna do like 
more so I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the edge. So let's actually just take this, uh, extend it. That's pretty good. And then we can do the same from here. Okay, so this will be where we're extending towards the mangrove item, item, island. There we go. All right, those are the parameters of the extension. And we're going to negative 62. I want to switch to that one where was it it was like swing and big band but with electronic I want to try that bad boy I think it had like a dancing lady on the yeah electro swing let's see what this is like Okay. I'm gonna need them to not just sit on one theme. Like I need them to advance. Okay, I'm into this actually. Kinda liking this. This could be one of those very uh, niche things that uh, my eclectic self likes and no one else likes. So if that's the case, you guys are gonna have to tell me because I actually don't mind this. Uh, no, I wouldn't want it on repeat. It's doing a lot of repeating in the song itself, which is like, yeet. I don't know that I want it in the liked playlist, but I don't mind this vibe. So there might be songs I enjoy more, but I wasn't sure what they were gonna do with electronic swing and I, I don't mind this. But if it's gonna annoy the snot out of people, I don't wanna sit on this channel either. Let's find out what the next one's like. Any style of song that doesn't have enough variety or like journey in the music is not one that is gonna be one I play a lot. Why does this sound like a Pixar movie song? Is, is it just me? Yeah, it's got something going on. Like a chase scene through Paris, but you're animals or <laughs> something. So you're like running under cafe tables. Or Italy, so maybe Rome. That did something I didn't want it to. Okay, I, I feel like none of these songs are realizing the potential that I want them to. Yeah, like that. I think I maybe saw Ratatouille once. What, it, what what's happening there? What, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, and I, I feel like there are more memes for it all of a sudden. Like, maybe it's just where I am in the internet, but I was like, what, what's with all these Ratatouille memes all of a sudden? Why are they happening now? Mm. Come on, songs. I want them to lean more into the big band stuff and they're really not doing it for me. The 
is this channel gonna make me disappointed? That'd be such a bummer. Cause I love big band music. I thought I was gonna swing off the edge there even though I'm crouching. My whole stomach just like whoop, lurched. This one's doing more of what I wanted, actually. This is closer. Cause Big Band has such like a musical journey in a, the pieces, like it's not, it's just a thing that I want out of a song, right? Like I want it to have sections and I want it to go somewhere and I don't want it to pick a theme and just hammer it to death for three minutes. That like, so far, this one's doing an okay job. What a channel vibe that would be though for an AI character. Like, big band, electronic big band. That could be pretty fun. You can always tell, <laughs> I've said it before, but you can always tell when I'm about to readjust my angle on the camera. Cause I like walk away from the edge and then crouch so I can hit my hockey. <laughs> and then you see me go. <laughs> Cause my, it's harder when I'm standing to keep my neck from twisting at a weird angle. Like I feel like I'm angled. See how I'm like leaning slightly. I need to fix, that's what I need to fix. There we go. I gotta stand more still. It's hard when I'm standing. I just wanna wiggle. I forgot to hit like on that last song. I don't know if I liked it enough to put it in the playlist, but it was on the right path. Honestly, this song feels like it's right. It's even in the same key, I think. It's Tiffany Tap is a good name for it though. You're like, yeah. Yeah. This absolutely feels like a sneaky chase scene from like Scooby-Doo or some little mice running, you know? I wish I had hand tracking. But like the more that I've been streaming, yeah. Oh, have you seen this? Um, my brother has a dancing emote now. Where is it? Ooh, show me. Wow. Yeah, hang on. Let me pop this chat out so I can make it bigger because holy cow it is not cooperating I don't want to activate shield mode relax I just want the dancing thing I'm pretty sure he recorded that he doesn't animate stuff like that <laughs> And then he's got this one. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, you know what? Let's try something else. Happy EDM is, I think EDM is like electronic dance music, right? So let's find out. This sounds like Mario. I don't think I'm gonna like this. All right, let's find something else. Oh, uh, I might take it back. That, 
This is actually all right. Yeah, and I think you liked the beginning and I didn't. And then the lyrics came in and I was like, okay, this this is not bad. <laughs> These are supposed to be upbeat. It's called happy, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, let's listen to a couple of these and see where we get. Cause chill is fun, but like, what if we want to be hype? I think there is a playlist here called hype bangers that I think we're gonna have to look at next just to see what the heck they think that means. <laughs> ah, I almost stepped off onto that. I kind of vibe. I kind of like this. Yeah, it absolutely does. When there's lyrics, people do a better job about hitting like verse, chorus, bridge stuff than they do when there's not, which is I think some of the instrumental stuff's problem is that it doesn't have a journey. And I don't necessarily mean like verse, chorus, bridge in an instrumental, although that would work, I bet like, it, like classical music has movements, right? And within those movements still, there's like, transitions to very different parts of the song. So I wish I wish they would take the same kind of journeys with the instrumental songs that they do when there are lyrics to sort of guide that, if that makes sense. Yoink. Okay, didn't hate that. Let's see what else it throws at us. That, that was a random place to put that block. All right. In my defense, I didn't realize I was about to run out. Let's get some more. All right. It's about to do a transition coming up here. Here it comes. Waveform shrinks. Now. Yep. That's about right. It's not a super exciting transition, but sure. It's literally the same, but muffled without the top pseudo, well, it's not a melody line, but whatever that pattern was, it's gone. And now it's expanding again. And it's brought back that top. Yeah, that came back. This is what I mean. There's not, it's not going anywhere. Like it didn't even go anywhere when it went somewhere. It just was the same under pattern, just like with a muffled effect on it. Okay, this is a little different. Well, it's just uh, repetitive, like it's just boring. Like it's repetitive. My brain is like, why is this the same thing happening over and over and over again? 
Like this is different, but it's not super different. I wonder what the classical one looks like. Cause I really, now I want to pull up one of the classical pieces that I recognize to like point out what I'm talking about. I wonder if it actually has recognizable classical pieces or if they're just like modern contemporary artists writing in the classical style. But like, see, it's just not going anywhere. And it's the same chords. There it is. Like, see how that, it's the chords aren't doing anything. I'm just listening to it. Like I'm waiting for it to do something it's not gonna do. So let's let's go to the next one. <laughs> you know what? No, let's go to the classical one and see what that sounds like because now I wanna I wanna I wanna see what I'm talking about. And I'm not one of those people who's like, anything that's not classical is bad. That's not what I'm saying. I just I know the classical music. Oh like here's Claire de Lune. Everyone knows that song. Why can't I play this due to my filters? Is it, my only filter is not YouTube safe. So apparently it's not used to safe. Oh, that sucks. Are all of these, I like I can't do because of my filters? Can I not play any of the classical stuff because of my filters? Oh, that is bogus. That sucks. I don't know that song. Wow, that has a slur in the title. Maybe not. Yo. Oh, come on. This is incredibly disappointing that I can't play any of these if I'm gonna put this on YouTube. That stinks. I'm really sad now. No wonder these playlists feel so small. Yeah, none of these actual None of these actual classical pieces are YouTube safe. I hate that. I don't know this one, but it's, let's see what it does. I don't recognize the composer, so. So it might not be a good example of what I'm trying to get at, but. It's also short, so it, it may not do what I expect it to either. but see how it's picked some different chords here. So even though it's doing that same arpeggiated pattern, it's gone somewhere. This is not gonna be a great example, but it, it is, see? Yeah, it's gone somewhere. It's not just hitting that same initial pattern. It's not a perfect example, but it's, it's. Yep, and now it's gone into the, I forget the word, it's been so long since I've done music theory, but the, a minor.
Like, see how that, even though it was the same pattern, like the same rhythmic pattern, like we're singing a lot of those other songs, the chords didn't just hang out on the same four chords. Like they went somewhere. <laughs> There are so, every song on here is just like, you can't play this track due to your filters. And it's just that YouTube filter. That stinks so bad. And like, this is absolutely not. So this would be like a classical inspired or written in this classical style, but I would kind of dispute that actually. <laughs> Like, this sounds very different. Did that make sense what I was saying, though, on that one song? I don't know. There's so much Debussy that I want to play and I'm not allowed. I hate this. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. This song is called The Spoopy Spooter Forest, and I can play it. So we're playing it. I want to hear what this is. I'm sure it's the performances that are not allowed to be on YouTube. Okay, I kind of like this. The spoopy spooter for it. Let's see if it goes somewhere than just this pattern. Like if it's just relying on this pattern to be the thing. Interesting. Yeah, or maybe like a mine shaft. Do you want me to add it to the thing? Come on, respond, pretzel. There you go. Uh, this one's called Tears in Hell. I also want to see what this means. <laughs> it's a concerto for strings. Go. Thank you. That's such an intense name. Tears in Hell. Man, there's straight up Chopin and Debussy on here that it's not gonna let me play. very bitter about not being able to play this playlist. I'm very mad. Oh, interesting. Obviously a modern concerto, <laughs> not
Interesting. Okay, sorry. I'm just like looking through that. I'll let this play now. I kind of want this to do more. Like, go do more. Tears in hell. Like, where's the suffering? The gnashing of teeth. The lakes of fire. That was pretty mild. Unless it's a commentary on, like, a living hell, right? Like, you're just sad panda on Earth. I, but I expected more drama out of that, I'm going to be honest. Let's see what else it throws on here. This is probably why I'm getting so many of the same songs over and over, though, when I'm sitting in a, in a channel for a while. It's because none of these are YouTube safe. So that's really frustrating. <sighs> Maybe I'll email them and be like, bro, what does it mean? Like, I can't monetize or I will get clapped. Like, what's the difference? No, I do. This is not. No, absolutely not. Not in a classical playlist. Get out. <laughs> I, I refuse. Like, I wonder who's responsible for categorizing them, if it's the composers, because, like, some of these, uh, it, like, is that aspirational or is that real? <laughs> like, why would you call this classical? The description of this. I'm kind of mad. Just because it has orchestra sounds in it doesn't make it classical. Can, like, don't make me so box. What is, why? No, this is classical and opera essentials. Explain to me how this fits this category. What, that's not what this is. Like, I'm not necessarily mad at it, but like, what? It's not a classical opera essential. All right. This is an incredibly disappointing channel because I love so many of the stuff in here and I can't play it. I'm really mad at them. <laughs> How have I never noticed this, this station before? The elevator going up to get down. I feel like we have to see what that's about. Suddenly, it's not what I expected. What? I think we're boogieing a little. <laughs> okay. I like it when music is funny. Oh, yeah. The channel next to this was Lounge, and I have to say, I would probably put this in that channel. I mean, I, maybe they can be a multiple channel, so I don't know, but... I don't understand what they're trying to accomplish with quote-unquote elevator going up to get down. So, like, this might not be wrong. Oh, yeah. Hehe. <laughs> You think it's supposed to be, oh, maybe it's supposed to be like Muzak adjacent. Interesting. Like this is what you would hear at an elevator. That's actually a very good intro. Hilarious. If that's what this is, amazing. No notes, love it. <laughs> This is a very happy elevator. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah, 
Like you're sitting in the lanai in like a button down shirt that like is unbuttoned pretty far. <laughs> like, but like the 60s swim trunks that are super short, like Sean Connery, James Bond. Like that's what that vibe is right there. Live, I love that. Okay, why is this closer to the, like, the big band thing that I wanted? Like, what is happening? Okay, we're getting it. Actually, we're getting really close. That's exciting. I think we're aiming for negative 62, so we're getting there. Well, you know what I mean? Like, this is more what I wanted. <laughs> this is like a, a sleeper hit, the elevator chair. <laughs> Like it's doing stuff. Like see how this music is going some, like it has done something totally different already. You know, I like, I really like this one actually. I'm gonna like it. You can't stop me. But, and see how the piano part isn't just like arpeggiating into eternity, which is that like da 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 That's an arpeggio pattern. It's vibing. I've, I've wandered off there. Okay, I got lost because I was looking at the camera. It's like vibraphone. Is this a new song or are we still in the same song? We're still in the same song. I love that for us. Man, it's really going on. Yes, see, this is what I like. Journey, we've gone on a journey. <laughs> Oh, and here's another one. This is nice. What? I loved that. That was amazing. I loved everything about that. We've done it. We found the channel. This is all like 1960s, 1970s resort. Cast like Bassanova. A little bit. But like, I don't remember what I was gonna say. It's fine. Bossa Nova, Bossa Nova. Why did I say Bossa? Bossa Nova. That's what my brain got stuck on. I said that word and I was like, mm, what just came out of my mouth? I don't like this one as much. This one, okay, this is gonna date me so hard. But this is giving me a little bit of Pilot Wings vibes. Anybody, anybody know that video game? <laughs> know what I mean? No, <laughs> okay, Bueller. This one doesn't have as much going on. Let's go to the next. Wave farm on this is very samey the whole time, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but we'll see what happens. Man, we started off so strong. Now I, I'm worried <laughs> we're not gonna have what we want now. I, I still am not super clear on why this is elevator. Like even this is called exotic lounge. Like I don't think you can see enough of, of the rest of it in the chat, but I think maybe that's what the stars are missing is that it's on the like album. It's called exotic lounge. 
And like, we're not in the lounge channel, we're in the elevator channel. So now I'm kind of curious what the lounge channel sounds like. Should we bump over to the lounge channel and see what's happening in there? What if these are just like the same two channels? <laughs> Let's go check out the lounge channel. I'm not vibing with this song. Okay, yep, that that snare pattern and or hi hat, the drum kit pattern. That makes sense. Ooh, <laughs> I was not expecting that noise, that sound rather. So now the question is, is this going to go anywhere or is it going to sit on this pattern and chord structure the whole time? Because it is definitely setting up camp. <sighs> I don't feel like just dropping the melody line counts as changing. Like, this is literally the same. No, I'm sad now. You've made me sad. You've made me sad. I'm sad. Yo, okay, get that flute in there, I guess. <laughs> what? What did they say? I, I, I'm not vibing with this lounge music. This is not what I expected to be in this. No, I don't like it. I don't like the whispering thing. I'm not sure this channel is for me. The elevator channel was, I was vibing a lot harder to that. I was expecting like smoky voiced lounge singer, you know, dark lounge, noir cigarette holder, you know, kind of thing. It's not, that's not the vibe I was getting. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. This channel is not it. We, okay, here we've got a spooky channel. Let's see what's going on here. Eerie ambiance and creepy vibes. We'll probably get some Minecraft biomes out of this, I would bet. That's why I'm wondering if the composers who are putting their music uh, in can select the categories that they appear in or the stations. Like if there's a categorization component to uploading a song. I, I, I don't know how they get their music, obviously, but that's what I would think. And so then if you're kind of not correct <laughs> about the category your music falls into, or like you want to believe that your piece is like, I'm like, oh yeah, the classical vibes. And it's like, is it though? Like, are you sure? <laughs> That's kind of what I wonder. Like if someone's categorizing them for them and then there would be some type of consistent, even if they're wrong, they're consistently wrong because it's the same person. Or if the artists are just doing it themselves. This is kind of fortress vibes, don't you think?
Oh, interesting. Yeah. All right, we'll add it. I'm down. I think we'll get a lot of, I think we'll get a lot of Minecraft stuff out of this, like biomes and structures and maybe mobs. I do like spooky vibe music. I'm not gonna lie. I'll turn it on even if it's not Halloween. Just like, oh yeah, make me feel something. <laughs> Abandoned bunker. I mean, it's a structure. Well, and it fits so many games. Like how often are you playing a game where it's like, oh, I need, I need spoopy vibes. I just checked the uh, subtitle to see if it got spoopy and it, it did, it did indeed get spoopy. So good job, I guess. <laughs> Even though you had trouble with ax earlier. This is kind of boring. It's just doing one note. <laughs> so let's try something else. Next. Oh, I shouldn't have, oh, I should have thumbs down that. I forgot I have that option. Yeah, this is very haunted mansion, but not in like a pillager mansion way, so. I don't think it sounds like, it sounds like a haunted mansion. I don't know that it sounds like a pillager mansion. You know what I mean? It's not like those are haunted. You know? <laughs> like Luigi's haunted mansion vibes, yes. Pillager mansion vibes, eee. If there was a ballroom in there, maybe, but they don't have that in those mansions. Can this get me all the way back? It'd be cool if it could. They have a boxing ring. It would be a cool room to have in there, honestly, especially like they're so big. It, that would take up a lot of space. There's also not like a dining hall, I don't think. Oh wait, yes there is. Like you wouldn't even have to put that much furniture in. You know, it's just a big open room. Nice. All right, let's see how far out. I, I think I got far out enough. Let's see, targeted block, negative 72. So we got 10 blocks farther out than we needed to. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, it could be the pumpkin mobs. We did say we could add mobs. Hmm. Hmm. String tension bed. Okay. That's quite a music title. I do feel the tension. The, the tension is being felt. <laughs> Thanks for the other rabbit foot.
Mm hmm. This true, this true. This is very tense. Okay. Right, so we got One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll do three on the outer edges. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. Great. It's not doing a whole lot except for building tension. Uh, I accidentally hit a button and it made that so loud for me. Or unless the music did that when I accidentally hit the button. Did it get louder for you guys? Well, if the music got louder, it got louder for all of us. This is terrifying. Like, this sounds like the slasher in <laughs> the Psycho movie. I mean, it is called... Oh. Yeah? Or maybe the pillagers. That sounds like horns. Yeah, we can add it. The the album this is on in night terrors, horror, and suspense. So, you know. This is terrifying. No, I, I, yeah, I get ancient city vibes from this. This is scary. That sounds like spider legs. This is so, I mean, good job, fam. This is real creepy. Brass is such a good sound to add to scary, like. Ooh. This is very cinematic. Like this very much sounds like a movie soundtrack versus like an actual, I, it's a song either way, but you know what I mean? Like this is a movie theme. This is a new song. It's on an album called Mysterious Places. This sounds like that new Minecraft music disc that came with the Deep Dark or the Ancient City update. You know? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's let's try a new one. Let's try a new one though. Let's go to VHS. Be kind and rewind to sounds inspired by the 80s. 
This still kind kind of sounds scary, actually. Like creepy eighties. A little bit, yeah. Ooh, and now it's Labyrinth vibes. It's not going anywhere though. You know what I mean? Like we here this is the same chords. They're doing the thing again. Okay. I've got some this is new. I haven't seen Stranger Things, but it would make sense in the 80s. Okay, I'm gonna flip to the next song because I wanna cruise through a few of these and see if this is an interesting channel. Dimensional lo-fi. Uh, I don't think I like that. <laughs> yeah. Funky Christmas, what? Do we want to put this on the holiday playlist? <laughs> it's not an annoying holiday song, if so. That's mostly what I'm trying to get on that soundtrack. I think it's the, like, if you, that high part that's making noise, or oh, the ding, 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 ding. It's like vaguely chime sounding, like a bell. But it's not annoying. L little bit of jingle, but not too much jingle. Which is the problem I was having with their actual holiday playlist. You know what? I'll allow it. Let's put it on the, the holiday playlist. We're gonna have to collect stuff all year to have a not annoying holiday playlist. I, you know what? I'm kind of vibing with this. This is all right. All right, let's let's hear the next part. Let's hear the next song though. Okay. I'm going to sit down. <sighs> All right, standing up is good. This is a lot of one volume and pattern. It does something different up here though. Ooh, I, I skipped ahead. All right, I should have let it play, that's different. Let's go back and see what it does. Nice. Okay, I actually don't hate this, contrary to everything I've said about songs that are very similar to this. I am a sucker for this particular sound right here. There's something very like bullet hell video game from my childhood that this triggers in my brain. I used to watch my brother play bullet hells. I'm terrible at them, but he's actually pretty good at them. Like spaceship bullet hell. There was one where you could do two players and I always just died immediately and then watched him play. The end of the song has something different happening on the, the waveform, but it just looks like it's softer, so I don't know. I'm like waiting to get there. I should not be vibing to this because it's exactly what I didn't like about all the other songs, but for whatever reason, I like this one. That'll probably change. I'm putting it on the like playlist, but I'll probably be listening to that and be like, pass me what? So if I do that and you're there, you can remind me. <laughs> All right, here comes the change in the waveform. Let's see what it does.
it got quieter. Sounds like your little spaceship in the bullet hell spinning out of gravity off the edge of the map. I'm not playing at all. I'm just listening to this song. That's fine. It's almost over. Let's, let's go back to what I was doing. I, I wanted one last something at the end of it. about to get creepy as she passes me by just before she's gone forever leaves me with the glamorous stare i start seeing things that aren't there she can't hear me breathe a whisper tell me where you're This guy a creeper? I'm couldn't risk the heart attack. I'm gonna land on the side of a creeper passing some lady minding her business on the sidewalk and suddenly has an entire fantasy thing happening. A sound screaming through the city streets. Her eyes arresting me. Yeah, okay, bye. I like that song with those lyrics, man. They're not the worst offender, but. All right, let's try, let's try a beat dance. What's going on in here? Is this a dance song? Oh, is a beat about to drop? I'm trying to imagine dancing to this. Isn't the point of a dance song that you can dance to it? Is this what dance music is supposed to sound like? Mm. Next. Okay. up and do something else because this also is not super dancey like where the beats at okay
I don't know. This is not working out for me. Next. Hello? All my bits, pretty sure I do. There is a polka channel on here. What? Okay, I don't hate this. I just realized that somehow the volume on this had been cranked. So I bet it was blasting for the last however long. I wonder how that happened. Well, rip to the VOD watchers. Man, that's gonna make me cringe so hard when I come back and watch the VOD to check that everything worked the way I expected. That's gonna stink. Uh, let's see, so that's the front. So one, one, two. Here. One. Well, okay. two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five. I don't know that I have enough slabs, actually. And possibly not enough. Hang on. Boop. Looks good, looks good. Oh, I forgot this one. You don't go here. All right. And then boop, boop, boop. Um, I'll do that while I'm up here. That will be nice. And we do one. Come on, there we go. Three. Uh, boop, boop. Boop. Nope, wrong one. This one. Ah. All right, boop. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. So then this would be here and here. 
And then we would do like this. Oh boy. We're gonna be cutting it. I we're cutting this real close. I don't know that I have I don't have enough slabs. I forgot about the bottom. Boo. Boo. Hopefully I don't have any zombos spawning anywhere. Looks, looks okay. Alright. Oh, I need this guy here. Um, I guess I could do this. Oh, wait, do I have enough? Amazing. don't have enough. That's upsetting. I forgot there's some right here that need to go. Um, let's grab those. I feel like I may have turned this too far down based on my levels, but I'm afraid that it if I turn it back up, it's gonna be obnoxious. So, rip to my sound levels. We're almost done anyway. I'm gonna finish building this and then call it. Uh, but that means I will need I don't like this. That is doing a weird thing on my eardrums. Weird thing on my, oh, it's, it's sleep time. Check it. Thanks. Okay, we're getting there. That red does look nice. Oh, you know what I forgot? Those. I think I remembered them on the jungle side. We'll have to go check. I don't have enough fences. Oh, that's too high. Uh, that. There we go. And then like me. 
Neat. What? My buttons. I absolutely miscounted buttons, apparently. Luckily, I had enough links. All right, great. Buttons, 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 buttons. That looks good. I need more. Okay, we got that. We got that. Okay, I need more um, fences. Did I put the fences on this one? I did, good job. Why does that look different? Am I nuts? Why do... Oh no, that looks the same. Like there's a big gap between this those stone and the... Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We good, we good. I'm gonna have to farm some logs. All right, we are done with the stairs. We're done with that. I believe we're done with these. These are gonna... Okay, uh, I stop that. Uh, let's see, I need sticks. And blah, 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 blah. These, thank you kindly. Uh, yoink. There we go. Okay. Let's find something else. Some indie rock? What do we think that sounds like? I already don't like this. No, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go back to chill base. remember if I put in any regular stone in the other one that we just did. I'm not sure that I did, actually. Go check. That is not what I meant to put there. I meant to. Nope, that is what I meant to put there. I'm gonna remember things. Let's see here. Okay. And boop. Boop.
Wait, I still have a button. Where'd this button come from? Button? There you go. Wait, I, I already know. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oops, I missed. Boop. And then let's do the one up at the top. Nice. And then this guy. Boop, boop. Time was the only enemy. Did this guy. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, now let's go check. I think that's everything. Yeah. So let's go check on the jungle side and make sure that we put some of the regular stone in there. I, I, I don't remember doing it, so we'll double check. Yeah, we definitely did not. Boop. Wee. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of like this song. I'm a little surprised. There's the block that I couldn't figure out where it went. All right. Go. Okay, there. We got a little bit more variation in there. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Super! And then th that looks nice. That does look nice. I think I think the whole, everything, all the accents are spruce except for whatever block that denotes the island is, is working. That is working out for us. And uh, now I have memorized how to build them. So they should go up quicker. So we've got all the cardinal points actually up. So that's pretty exciting. And they all feel like the same distance. Boy, I hope they are because I counted to make sure. So I just realized something. This is supposed to be up on a hill. Like this is the hill. So either I have to take it back down before I get over there, or I'm gonna have to raise that. That's annoying. All right, well, we'll figure it out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it.
keep not giving me phantom parts. That's fine, I guess. All right, let's put our stuff away like Mr. Rogers. Everybody clean up. All right. These are my trash ones, so they go here. I may, oh, we got, we got parts. There we go. All right, there we go. We're like three and a half hours. We finished, I think two more. Gates, so that's really good. Listen to some music. I probably totally borked my <laughs> volume level somehow uh, in the middle of that. But I think the next thing we wanna do is get, you know, all the ground raised up and start making paths through to all of the gates because this path looks really nice so we'll probably want to expand that and get paths in in other places and that's the plan so thanks for stopping by i don't think i'm gonna stream again today but it's possible if you want to hang out with me again today i'll be on post stream at 7 p.m central over on his channel uh, let me just shout out uh, it's, it's like, I, I feel like he changed his name and I don't know what it is now. Uh, it's like quantum AI, but is it at the end of it? Bruh. I'm going to have to look him up. This is incredibly rude. Okay. Did that work? There he is. All right. So if you're still around, you haven't followed him, follow him. I'll be on there this evening. So bye, D. Have a good day. Everybody have a good day. Uh, and yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be back tomorrow for my actually regularly scheduled stream day. So, bye.